What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. All right, so today we're gonna be doing a, I promised you guys this last time, my Q&A, that I'm gonna be doing a, my coming out story. I know I did one in the, like, like last year, a year ago, but I went through my DMs. You guys asked a lot of these questions and I put them in my notes and I'm going to read them to you guys um, and tell you guys my coming out story and advice for you guys. I know it's really hard, I know, but I'm here for you guys no matter what. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the video of my coming out story. Let's go. All right, so number one, like what is my coming out story? And yeah, how did I fully come out of the closet? So, oh my gosh, my coming out story, let's go all the way back. It was my sophomore year. All right. And I'm sitting there. And my girlfriend just left. And so my girlfriend at the time just left my house. We were in my room right here. And my mom, I text my mom. I'm like freaking out because like I actually like this girl. And like I didn't know what the feeling was at the time. And I, I was a freshman. I think, you know, it was freshman year. Yeah. So I'm like crying my eyes out. I'm literally bawling my eyes out because I don't know what I'm, I don't know what the heck I was doing. I don't know. I don't know anything about being gay or anything because I never thought about that at all. And then, like, me and my girlfriend at the time hung out behind, well, we were dating behind my parents' back and behind everyone's back because no one knew that I was gay. So, so I, I'm crying on the ground. I'm laying on the ground right here, bawling my eyes. I'm literally laying on the ground because I have nothing. I'm so, like, just upset because I don't know what to do. I had no idea what to do. So... I get my phone and I'm like, mom, I think I like girls and I, I don't know why. Like, I think I like girls. I don't know why. I don't know what the heck is going on. And she texts me. She's like, okay, like, want me to come down? Like, she was perfectly fine. She seemed like everything was normal. Like, yeah, that's how it should be with parents, but everything was fine. I worked myself up and then we go on the couch right over there. I literally see the couch right there. We go on the couch and... I'm freaking out. I'm literally hysterically crying. And I'm showing her all this stuff that me and my girlfriend at the time had together. Um, showed her all, like, notes, all these all these stuff. And just telling her how much, like, I, I think I'm, like, gay. I like girls. And she fully accepts it. Her uncle's gay. So she told me stories about that. And I overthought so much to the point where I didn't come out for a couple of years because, like, I didn't know. Like, I didn't know how my parents were going to react. I didn't know how my friends and family were going to react because I was so scared. The most anxiety I've ever had was that the, that moment. Like, freshman, sophomore year was the most scariest years of my life because I had no idea how people were going to rea react and respond to it. Because, like, I was the only one in the school that was, like, openly gay at the time. Not the only one. What was that? what did I just break my bed bro I think I just broke my bed okay I'm like but yeah I was like the only one in my grade that was like openly gay now well not, I wasn't out to my friends at all yet I'm not gonna okay I'm not gonna get out of order so I came out to my mom and then I, I so we're dating for a while a year passes it's sophomore year May of my sophomore year I'm not with that girl still I'm with another person um me and her like best friends now it's 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 completely fine so me and this one girl, I'm at her house and I come home and then I, my mom knows, my mom knows everything. So I come home and I go downstairs, whatever, like she lives like an hour away, which in le lesbian time is not that long. It's actually really like, it's like a neighbor, but I come home, I walk downstairs, my dad comes down and he's like, so you like her, right, bud? Taps me on the shoulder. Hey, like joking. Hey, you like her, right? Not, not joking, but like, kind of like you like her, right? right and I'm like what and he's like come on man like I know come on like he knew I feel like that happens in families like when you're when you are gay when you have a gay or gay or lesbian daughter the parents know like homophobic or not I think they all know and my dad knew he knows me so well that he just knew because I like I've grown up, like, you guys maybe have seen, like, pictures or videos. 
I was literally a tomboy. I was the definition of a tomboy. So then that happened. And then after my dad, a couple weeks later, I post on Instagram of a picture of me and my girlfriend at the time. <clears throat> and oh my gosh, that was the scariest moment of my life. Guys, I swear I've never been that scared to post anything before in my life. So I had my dad post it for me. I was ready to come out to my friends. My friends had no idea besides a few close friends that came to me and asked me if I was gay. And I was like, oh gosh, yeah, well, yeah. I thought they were going to take, guys, trust me. I thought my worst fear was that they weren't going to let me like have sleepovers with them because I'm a friend person. Like I love hanging out with my friends. I go to my friend's house every single day. I sleep over every single weekend. Every se I, I'm just a friendly person that I like having fun with my friends. And I thought they were completely going to turn on me. And I, that's, that was my biggest fear of coming out and being gay. Um, so then a couple friends know it's around May 6th, which is my best friend's birthday I came out on. So I have the post ready to post. It's me and my girlfriend, Cameron at the time. And it's like, the caption's like, um, like quotation, like straight something. I don't really know. It was a, it was a good joke. And the amount of support like okay i'm not gonna go into that yet so i'm by my kitchen door and i give my phone to my dad and i'm like dad i, I can't do it i can't do it. i can't do it. i can't do it in mind only five people knew main mainly four five five people knew plus my mom and there's a big world out there i'm on instagram everyone so oh my gosh this is getting me nervous talking about it so I give my phone to my dad. He's about to hit share. Oh my God, that moment. I'm literally feeling like butterflies again. He shares it and I instantly sprint back to where I'm like freaking out. I'm literally freaking out to the point where I start, oh my God, what are they gonna do? I start freaking out. So I put my phone down for like 20 minutes. I put my phone down. I did not look at it at all. And then 20 minutes pass. I'm literally freaking out to the point where I'm almost puking because I'm so upset. I'm not upset. I'm so nervous. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. If it was, I would, th oh my gosh, I was so nervous. And so that happened. And then 20 minutes later pass and I go on my phone and you guys cannot imagine, like I've only got like, at the time my Instagram would get like 200, 300 likes on a picture. This one had like 500 likes already. This picture probably got shared to people, to comments after comments like, oh my God, I'm so proud of you. Oh my God. I thought all my friends were literally going to turn on me. I thought that all my friends were going to judge me and be like scared of me uh, for liking that. Like they, I always thought my biggest fear, one, one of them was I always thought that they were going to assume that I liked them just because I like girls. Like I thought all my closest friends were going to be like, oh my God, like, we're, no, we can't hang out. You're going to like start to like me or like, oh, we can't have a sleepover. You're going to start to like me. Uh, that was never the case. Never in a million years would I ever th have thought that. So back to the story. I post it, whatever. It's up. I'm freaking out still. My anxiety, the next day, it was a Sunday. The next day was Monday, going to school. I think I was antisocial for a good week, David. My, my friend David said, actually, we were talking about this today. I was, yeah, I didn't talk at all after I came out because I was so nervous. To, oh my gosh. I wish, I wish I could tell you guys how scared I was, but, you know, it really gives you strength to come out. And if anyone ever needs help, I'm here. So I go to school. It's all fine. Like, they don't treat me any different. And I'm so blessed to this day that they don't judge me about it. I That was, once again, that was my biggest fear. And I'm so thankful that they don't think of anything different. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm so glad that they still let me come over or have sleepovers. Like, they didn't change at all. My whole head was, my thoughts were bigger than my whole entire head. Like, at that, at that point, I was like, oh my God, they're not going to let me do any, they're, they're not going to even want to hang out with me. I'm, I'm going to be weird. No, that was completely wrong of me to even think. So you overthink a lot when you aren't out. And once you come out, weight off the shoulders. That's what I'm talking about. Weight off the shoulders. And it's the best feeling. I, I cannot explain it on camera. Like, I'm sorry. But if you guys ever need, like, if you guys ever come out, that's probably the best feeling in the world. I'm I'm dead serious. Better than drinking water at 3 a.m. 
chugging water. It's better than that feeling. And I, that, oh my gosh, I cannot stress enough, but yeah, holy crap. Time flies and being out publicly now and like on my Instagram and all these platforms, it is the best feeling to help people out. It really is inspiring to see other people's story. And I love inspiring people about my story because I was, I was in your guys' shoes. I used to watch gay YouTubers, lesbian YouTubers, um, Cheyenne and Lundy, Corinne and Skyler and Connor Franta, how all of them come, came out. And I was like, I want to be like that. Like, I want to help people out. But I wasn't even out at the time. I was like, I want to be like that. I want to have that much confidence on camera. I want to I wanna have a coming out video. And boom, here it is. My coming out video. But trust me, guys, I've been in your guys' shoes. I know what it feels like. I Every single person who has to come out knows what it feels like. I was on the ground crying my eyes out. I was crying so much. Like, I can't believe that. I can't believe that that came to this. I am so confident to this day about sexuality, about anyone who needs advice, come to me. I am here. I'm trying to answer all these questions on a video so you guys can just watch this video if you guys ever need. But trust me, I was that girl crying behind a phone, watching other YouTubers come out. I was that girl on the ground crying to my mom, to my friends. I was so scared. The level of anxiety walking around the school knowing I was gay and no one knew. The level of anxiety went from coming home and hanging out with my friend who was actually my girlfriend. That, and now being able to post about my girlfriend, like Nina, being able to live life and go to all these pride fests and stuff. All that anxiety and fear from two or three years ago is worth it. Now this feeling, that crying is worth this feeling promise you guys I wouldn't be myself if I didn't have to go through that I wouldn't be you know inspi inspiring if I didn't go through that I don't think I've learned so much from this little two years span of time I've been out I've learned so much how to you know cope with anxiety how to you know stress relief all this stuff I've learned from the process of the different hills of coming out yeah there's been some homophobic people but I've learned not to care because they love is love what why oh i'm not even gonna get on the topic of homophobic people because they are so, oh, i don't even care they are so low to the i'm not even gonna start so yeah um what's another question how to tell your parents just like i did i mean if it if it comes down to a text message if it comes down to telling them in person it doesn't matter how you come out it's your story so make it however you want it. If you think your mom likes, wants a text or not, not wants a text, wants it in person. If you're close to their dad, not your mom. If your mom, you know, if you guys have, to, if you want to tell your grandparents first, your aunt, your uncle, your friend, your teacher, an inspiring person, me, tell me, tell your friends. Um, starts out, start out by one, then goes to a couple and then boom, you'll have a community. Advice, advice on a new gay. Just live life. You know, it's fun. You have no more stress. You have no more anxiety about it, about coming out. Just have fun. Just, it's fun. Go to all these pride fests. It's fun. That was my video of my coming out story and advice. If anyone wants to hit up my Instagram, follow me right here. And I'm going to leave this up for a second for me talking. Okay. So definitely, here's my uh, at. If anyone, and I mean anyone, needs help coming out to parents, homophobic, parents anything i will be here for you and i salute to that okay thank you for watching and i hope you guys have a great day and night or wherever you guys are subscribe down below hit this hit this wherever it says subscribe subscribe let's get to 20k i've been saying that for a while 20k is a benchmark but yeah click this video right here let's go watch this video right here come on click it but i love you guys so much uh, i hope everyone has a great day bye guys